Wow, you can even see the texture of the bullet camera. And it's connected to a PDZ camera that is 500 meters away. Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel Fast Cabling. So today in this video, we are diving into our common challenge in a power over Ethernet setup, extending the reach of the PDZ cameras beyond the standard 100 meters. But what happens when you need to go further, say 200 meters or even 500 meters? So let's find out together. Also, we are offering a unique free tag design service just for you. Yes, you heard it right. That's absolutely for free, whether you're setting up a new system or upgrading an existing one. Our team of experts is ready to provide professional advice that tailored for your specific needs. So in a typical PoE setup, a PDZ camera operates flawlessly within 100 meters range because we know this is the distance limitation for standard PoE. But as we extend beyond this limit, problems start to emerge. Beyond 100 meters, performance might be hits or meets. And when it's at 500 meters, it's a whole different ballgame. The camera will struggle to function and fail to work altogether. But why does this happen? Now it's all boiled down to the power loss. As the distance increases, the power transmitted over the Ethernet cable diminish. And this loss in power means that your PDZ camera might not receive the energy that they need to operate correctly. And in many scenarios, like in a large properties or industrial area, the need for long-range PoE becomes critical. And this is where standard PoE setup for short. So here enters the long-range PoE switch. Now this powerful solution is designed to extend your PoE reach without the drawbacks of standard setup. Now you might think, why not just use PoE extenders and daisy chain them? While that seems like an easy fix, but it might actually lead to multiple problems, including the very power loss that we're trying to avoid, because we know the power cannot be repeated. And with each extender added to the chain, there's a drop in power efficiency and an increase in complexity and potential point of failure. For instance, if you want to extend your reach for 500 meters, that means you need four extenders. Doesn't it sound like a headache? Now, the long-range PoE switch, on the other hand, maintain power efficiency over extended distances and ensuring that your PDZ camera receives the power that they need. So if you're looking to extend your PDZ camera's reach without sacrificing performance, the long-range PoE switch will be your best choice. And I'm going to show you what can it capable of. So let's say goodbye to the limitation of standard PoE setup and hassles of daisy chaining extenders. So now we are in front of the demonstration board and we're about to connect to this PDZ camera that will be located at 500 meters away. And we have the big screen to display the video footage, the router and the network video recorder. So we are ready. So here we have our long range PoE switch. It can support long range capability since it has an intelligent long range chipset built in. And here we have four ports, but keep in mind only port one and two can support long range. And these two are the Ethernet uplink port. Now it can support 500 meters with a PoE adapter. Since this one here has the intelligent long range chipset, right? But the PDZ camera or the other connected devices doesn't. That's why we'll need to add this PoE adapter so it can send back the signal all the way to the switch. And we will be locating this adapter by the PDZ camera. So first, let's connect the router and the network video recorder to this switch. And you can see this is a compact switch, so you can pretty much locate it anywhere. And plug it into the port one, one and two are the long range PoE port. And three and four are just ordinary PoE port. So coming over here, we have 
this big pile of Ethernet cable, 200 meters plus 300 meters, join them together using a coupler that's 500 meters. So it's all set. Remember, we have to plug it into the PoE adapter so it can send back the signal to the switch. Let's take out the neck and the gland. This is IP67 waterproof rated. Plug it into the input port from the switch. And for the output port, we are going to connect it with the PDZ camera using this short patch cord. All set. Mounting back on this special mounting tool, which allows you to mount it on a DIN reel. Very convenient. Here we go. I can hear the sound of the PDZ camera working. That means it is getting the power and the data that it needs. So let's check out our screen here. We have a live video. I'm going to wave my hand. Voila, so the whole connection is done. So the reason why we make a video that specifically talk about the extension of the PDZ camera, because the PDZ camera has mechanical part that enable them to pan, tilt, and zoom. Many of them come with high resolution sensors and powerful optical zoom capability. And all of this means it requires more power compared to the fixed camera. So to address this and send high power, the long-range PoE switch is the solution. Now the key to this effectiveness lies in it use all four twisted pair of the wire in an Ethernet cable, compared to the regular PoE that uses only two pairs. So this design can significantly improve the power transmission efficiency over a longer distances and ensuring that the PDZ camera can function reliably, even when it's located far from the power source. Next, I'm going to show you something really cool. So here we have the PDZ control network keyboard. Now, this isn't just any keyboard. It is a professional tool designed to interact with the PDZ camera. Now, every aspect from its key to the joystick is crafted for precision control. You can pan, tilt, and zoom with accuracy, and switching between cameras, adjusting views, and focusing on any key areas. So let me show you how it's like playing a video game. You just move it around. So the PDZ camera is moving. And we can also zoom in with it. Just twist. Let's zoom on the bullet camera. Go to the maximum zooming. Let's go up a little. Let's wait for it to be focused. Wow, you can even see the texture of the bullet camera. And it's connected to a PDZ camera that is 500 meters away. So that's all for today. Thank you very much for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more tech insights. And if you have questions or want to share your experience with the long range PoE, feel free to drop us a comment below and I'll see you in the next video.